Because I realized that I could have done it on my own. Yeah. Praise God. Praise God. Let me read a little bit of the 15th chapter. Amen. Of St. Mark. And you know what? They had a council of religious leaders. How many know we got them now? Yeah. Religious leaders. Yeah. Praise God. Jesus. And straightway, 15th verse, chapter in the first verse said, and straightway in the morning the chief priest held a council consultation with the elders and the scribes and the whole council and bound Jesus. No, they did. Somebody said they bound him. Bound him. And if you mess around and sit with the wrong folks, they'll bound you too. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And carry him away and delivered him to power. Power right. was a judge. Praise God. Amen. Amen. And, and Pilate asked him, Art thou the king of the Jews? And he answered and said unto him, Thou sayest. And he would let them know, say, That's what you said. Because he already know who he was. But that's what you said, Amen. He was in that acknowledging him and then he realized that he had to acknowledge him as being king. Right. Amen. And the chief priest accused him of many things. But he answered nothing. How many of you have been accused of many things? Amen. And you know in your heart that you just didn't do it. Amen. But amen, you had to Stand before somebody and try to clarify yourself or justify yourself. Is anybody went through that? Yeah. But you you could have just fought yeah. there and argued back, but you didn't want to do it like that. Because right. the word of God says a good name is better than what? Riches. Amen. So it's good for us to have a good name. But Jesus didn't know no evil. The word said wasn't no sin found in it. No God was in his mouth. That means he didn't talk trash, amen. No filth was in his mouth. That means that he was a righteous God and a righteous man. But the devil didn't like him, amen. And I tell you, if you stand up for God, he ain't going to like you either. That's why I don't know why these people won't come to him. Because they don't like you if you ain't in him. And they don't like you if you is in him. Is I'm saying so. Praise the Lord. He had they accused him of many things. But he didn't answer nothing. Amen. Amen. And Paul asked him again, saying, Answers thou nothing. You ain't gonna say nothing. Don't you have anything you wanna say to defend yourself? Amen. Amen. You did many things. Many good things, amen. But you ain't got nothing to say now. Y'all think about it. Just put yourself in his place for a few minutes. You, he gave sight to the blind. But you ain't got nothing to say on your behalf. Praise God. Amen. You heal the dumb, praise God. And you unloose their tongue. Just like that. And you still ain't got nothing to say on your behalf. No. On your behalf. Praise God. 
listen, they was talking to a man that could have shot their mouth and they couldn't have said nothing else. But he didn't work like that. Praise God. And he said, answer thou nothing. Behold how many things they witness against thee. But Jesus yet answered nothing. So Pilate of marvel. Yes. Amen. He marveled. Amen. Mm -hmm. He was in a, like a, he was just awestruck. Oh, uh, you know, I just don't know what else to say to him. Amen. He ain't got nothing to say. And he won't say nothing. Is anybody getting this? Amen. Now, at that feast, he released unto them one, one prisoner whom so ever they desired. And there was one named Barabbas, which lay bound with them that had made it, uh, insurrection with him, who had committed murder in the insurrection. Praise God. And the multitude cried aloud, began to desire him to do as he had ever done unto them. But Pilate answered them, saying, Will you that I release unto you the king of the Jews? For he knew that the chief priest had delivered him for envy. How many know envy is sin? 